Hello everybody, welcome back to Fish That Won't Quit. Today I'm gonna to show you how to tie the uni knot, so stay tuned. All right, so the uni knot is a fantastic knot to learn. It's great for braided fishing line as well as monofilament or fluorocarbon. So with your tag end, you're gonna place this through the eye of the hook, and then give yourselves a good amount of tag end here to work with. I like to do about eight to 10 inches or so. And then with your main line, go ahead and just run that to the right. Now I like to just pinch these two lines close to each other, just like so. And you're gonna be making a loop with this tag end. What you'll do is just run a loop down low and lay it right above the two lines that you're pinching and then go ahead and pinch that like so. I like to make sure these two are nice and close to each other because what the next step is, is to run this tag end around the two lines and through this loop you just created. With the heavier line, you're gonna to wanna to do about four to six wraps. And with a lighter line, six to 10 wraps. With this line, I'm gonna do about five wraps. So with the tag end, come through the loop here and around the two lines for one, and two, three, four, and five. So what you should have is something that looks like this. You can go ahead and just pull on your tag end and then knot will start forming up on your main line. Make sure not to snug this as hard as you can quite yet. Just get it to a point where it's forming your knot just like so. I like to lubricate this knot section all the way over to the hook section here. We'll do that right now. And then what you can do is just pull on your main line. This knot will just start working right to the eye of the hook. And that's why it's important not to cinch that knot down at the beginning, because if you do, it'll be really hard to tug on that and it could cause line breakage or line damage. But once you get it down to the hook shank, you can really pull hard on that tag end and main line. And that knot is nice and secure at this point. So with your tag end, go ahead and cut that off. You can cut that off as close to the knot as you like. What you're left with is the completed UD knot. And now I like to demonstrate with a monofilament line so you get to see how that looks. All right, so for the monofilament, we have a 12 pound test here. We're gonna place that tag in through the eye of the hook. Give yourselves a good amount to work with, about eight to 10 inches or so. Now I like to pinch the two lines over here to keep, have these a little bit more parallel with each other. Now with your tag end, go ahead and create that loop like before and lay it right on top of the two lines. So you should have something that looks like this. Now your tag end is gonna wrap around these two lines here and through your loop here. I'm gonna do about six wraps total. So down, around the two and up for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now at this point, go ahead and pull your tag end. Now I'll start forming the knot on the main line, but don't fully snug this knot up quite yet. I like to moisten the knot up to the hook here and start slowly pulling on the main line. And this knot will start moving toward the hook shank Now when you're close here, I like to give the tag end a good, a good pull and then back to the main line and then really snug and pull that main line to set that knot on the hook. Now you have your tag end here to cut off. And what you're left with is the completed uni knot. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.